Oh, damn. You've been away quite a while, Wolf. Yeah, it was amazing. Exotic locations, fancy drinks, and, um, great people. Did you do what I asked? Assassinate all of those people? Yeah, I did. Good. Why are we at Hollow Bastion from Kingdom Hearts? Research, but that's not important. We have a missing person. If I'm gonna keep all of these kingdoms in order, I can't have people slipping away. I need you to go and find Grace. Grace? Who's Grace? You know, Grace. She's wonderful. You'll love her. And why can't you find her? Because that's why I keep all of your little bunches of data from being deleted. But don't worry, Wolf. This will be nice. You get to travel to a fun world. You even get your own ship. Can it fly? No, 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 no. It just kind of hovers, I think. But I will give you a boomerang. A boomerang? For what? Protection? Oh god, do I need protection? Are there monsters? I don't know. Can I have a gun at least? No, just the boomerang. Now go, find her. Why, hello there, wolf pack. Come, join me, take a seat by the roaring fire as I spin you a tale about Vanishing Grace. This is a narrative puzzle game where we have to roam this beautiful planet in search of Grace and figure out why she went missing in the first place. And we do that all on our awesome spaceship dune buggy sand thing. But before we begin, I actually want to show you something. The developers of this game created a little prequel of sorts that we'll see right now. We are in an animation that was done in Quill, a VR drawing app. And here you can see Grace. Grace herself, the one that has vanished. And she is working on her craft because, well, she's about to go on an adventure where she's going to vanish. This happens before we have to go and find her. Over here it seems like we have some concept art. Now the Citadel is the city that everyone lives in. I don't know if it's in space or on the planet or what, but that is what she's running from in her craft here, which is really cool. And over there, you can see the Citadel. It's hopping, lights are moving, people are out and about, seems very bright at night. And here's Grace. Little bit of underarm hair, no shirt on, just full overalls. I mean, it's a sexy look, not gonna lie there, Grace. She is working hard on the craft here to make it perfect for her voyage on the planet. Grace, I promise, I'm gonna find you. Now that we've caught a glimpse of Grace about to set off on her adventure, let's set off on ours. Oh, hello there. You must be Grace. Just reading a book? Shooting out paper airplanes? Oh, okay. That went through my head, Grace. Aw. Little bug? Oh, Joel. That's me. I'm Joel. Do you trust me? Uh, yeah. No, I trust you. Then run. Wait, what? Don't look back. Aw, oh, Grace, you know I'm gonna look back. Oh, dear God. Oh, my God. What is that? Arrgh. Is that a giant rat? Grace, what is happening? Why are we running? Is, is that our house? Do we live together? Oh, God. Friends? Are we best friends? I think we're best friends. We are safe. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Look at you sitting down. Joel, promise me you won't ever leave me. Yeah, I promise, Grace. I'll be here for you whenever you need me. With you by my side, I can do anything. Yeah? Look, what are you creating out of thin air with your magic? Oh, another paper airplane. Okay, what are you going to do with that? You're going to throw it, obviously. There it goes. Look at that paper airplane. Oh my god, it's a real airplane. Where is it going? What's it doing? Oh shit, god. Oh no. That is a cool intro. Welcome to Vanishing Grace. I'm into this. Whoa. Is this... Is this my place? 
Do I live in a bar? Hello? Yeah, I'll be with you in a second, Elena. Oh, hell yeah, look at this beautiful sudsy drink. The, you know, the base is a little off, but... Oh, chug that down. This is nice. Really cool. What's going on over here? Authorities find an abandoned craft in the gates of the Citadel. Is that... That's Grace's craft. So she just arrived at the Citadel. Well, she didn't. Her craft did. And we don't know where she is. Be yourself. Okay, okay, Elena. What do you want? Hey, Joel. Hi. Are you there? Yeah, I just answered. Oh, I can... Ooh, I get to choose. Yeah, I'm finishing packing. Hey, dot, dot, dot. No, we're gonna go with... Yeah, I'm finishing packing. Yeah, I'm finishing packing. Wow, I sound angry. Listen, I... I just want to tell you I'm sorry. Hey, it's okay. About the way things ended yesterday. What happened yesterday? I think we both said stuff we regret, and I don't want to leave things on a bad note. But you have to realize how hard this is all for me. What? What, what am I doing? I know it is. Well, it isn't easy on me. Either. Oh, God, I have a time limit? I know it is. Yeah, Elena, I know it is. I do. I've never doubted it for a second. Yeah. And even more now that we have a special delivery on the We're way. having a baby? Well, don't leave then. It's not fair that you're the one who has to risk your life out there. Come on, Elena, we've already discussed this. You know Grace doesn't have anyone else. If I don't go out and search for her, nobody will. That's the way things work at the Citadel. <sighs> well, what good is it to find her if you die trying? I won't die. It's just too dangerous to go out there. Wait, it's dangerous? Especially in that worthless old wreck, if you can even call it that. That craft is pretty darn sturdy. I place my full... Duh. It's pretty darn sturdy, that okay? That wreck managed to return to the Citadel unmanned, so it's a lot tougher than it looks. Yeah. Okay, assuming you're right. Which I am. That doesn't mean you have the slightest idea how to drive that thing. That's true, I don't. I really do not. I'll figure it out. It can't, it can't be that hard, Elena. I'm Joel. Old crafty Joel. I got this. It can't be that hard. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure it can. See, you agree. I thought you were calling to patch things up, and now we're just having the same old arguments again. Well, it's hard to watch my husband leave on a suicide mission and do nothing to prevent it. Dear God. If things take a turn... No, I... Look, I have no choice. Grace, my friend, is missing. I said you know I'd be I there. Have to go. She would do the same thing for me. Yes, she would. Plus, we don't know for sure whether people can or cannot actually live out wait, there. It wait, may what? not be as dangerous as we're told. Oh, dear God. <sighs> don't tell me you still believe those old stories. What is out there? Grace believes them, and I need you to believe in me. You may find that difficult, but I have no choice. She might be in danger. I can't give up on her. She's like family to me. I promised her when we were kids. What about us, Joel? That's true. What Good point. Hmm? You're my wife. Or have you forgotten it's not going to be just the two of us anymore? Oh, we got a baby. I know, which is why I promise I'll return. You hear me? Yeah. I promise. I promise. There's no way I'm leaving you alone when the time comes. I hope that's a promise you can keep. It is. Babe, trust me, it's Joel. I live in a bar. We're going to have a baby. Be yourself. Day one, May 12th. 2053. We are well into the future, huh? Oh. Oh, damn. Okay. So I am just out in the planet. We got a water tower. It looks like maybe a highway sign over there. Whoa, this is cool. This is my craft. Now, this is Grace's ship, which appeared at the Citadel, which I guess is a city. Or something maybe in space where everybody lives. And it appeared without grace in it. So now I have to journey to this very dangerous planet. Which might be Earth. That's telling me maybe it's Earth. Maybe it's an alien planet. And we have to find her and save her because I'm Joel. Can I move? I can't move right now. Which means I have to drink some wine. Oh, what kind of wine we got here? Ninla wine. Yeah, sure. That shit is good. Oh, yeah. Can I? We're just gonna... Yeah, I mean, if you're going to be on a dangerous planet where you might die, you might as well get a little drunk. Beautiful planet. I am an artist. All right. To Joel. That's me. I am Joel. Stick that in there. Oh, nope. Get, get it. Get, go. 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 Oh, I have to actually. There we go. And play. Hello? 
Uh, I hope this is recording. What's up, Grace? There we go. Uh, um, hey, Joel. Hi. Um, I have no idea when you'll be listening to this. Yeah, 2053. But I hope you aren't mad at me anymore. Should I be mad at you? I know you didn't want me to go on this trip, and I don't blame you for being concerned. You were right when you said that we aren't kids anymore. Yeah, we're old. And we need to settle down. Back problems. But I can't do that if it means I have to keep working for the government. Now I have the chance to live my life in a different way, a way that many people chose long ago. I am no longer willing to bow down to the Citadel. Yeah, good for you. You can't imagine how excited I would be to have you here. I'm on my way, Grace. But I know that's something I can't ask of you. Too late. Your place is there with Elena. Oh, I abandoned her. That doesn't mean you have to miss out on all the fun, though. I've decided to record a diary of my whole trip. Oh, yay! That way, you can somehow play a part in all of this. I'm going to live through your journey, okay? I just okay? need to figure out a way to send it to you. Yeah, I know how to rotate. Like, maybe she found some floating rocks. Okay, this is bizarre. Clearly, I've been drinking a little bit too much Ninla wine, but that's fine. A little more worthy. Take that, rock! There is a, uh... There's a boomerang right here, which I guess I'm just going to grab. Oh my god. Am I supposed to hit these rocks? Is this like target practice for when the real enemies come? The giant werewolves and aliens? Oh, damn. Okay, that's kind of cool. Double kill. I'm incredible. The best boomeranger. Hit magnetite. Isn't that like a Pokemon? Until full recharge. Okay, we're just gonna smash rocks then. Slinging booms. Oh, come on. I wanna, I wanna quad kill. Oh, battery's full. Okay, plug in the boomerang. I don't think that's how they work. Unplug the battery. Okay, open. And boom. Take the battery into the craft. Oh, yeah. This is really neat. I like the art style, how it's kind of hand-drawn. You can see like you know, paint marks and stuff, but it's still realistic. It's neat. It looks really pretty. And, uh, boop. Ahem. <clears throat> uh, oh, oh. Oh. Now, if you remember, if you're a long-time viewer of this channel, I actually played a pre-alpha demo of this game in my first ever three random VR games, so I've kind of seen the inside of the craft, although it looks a lot nicer and a lot cooler than when I came in here, so some of this might be a little familiar in the beginning, but most of this game is going to be brand new, and I am there for it. Okay, battery, go in, uh, push it in, and close that. Yeah, close. Boom, look at that charge. I am so good with a boomerang. Start up the craft. Okay, engine. Accelerate. Speed to the max. Oh shit, we're moving. We are moving. Look at my dot. We're just zooming through the landscape. Is this a horn? Yes. I, this is it. This is all I want. Push and hold for engine cooling. Okay, I'm guessing we want blue. Blue is cool. There's the water tower, just zooming by us. In the blue, look at that. We have a very, well, not quite. Okay, well, that's good enough. Your new life at the next corner with SD. So it's a construction thing, maybe new apartment buildings? Oh yeah, there's like a road up here. I definitely think we're on Earth, but something bad must have happened to make it so dangerous and unlivable. Rotate, okay, I'm gonna do that in a second. I kinda wanna check out this ship uh, before I get sucked into any like story moments and stuff, just to see what kind of stuff we have, like this drawing. Ooh, very pretty. This is the Church of Twilight. Well, that's a the first cool time name. I read about it was in the files I took from the Citadel. I never imagined a piece of paper could get me into so much trouble. You stole shit? I wonder why they need to hide this sort of information. The documents describe the way people lived in this ancient church for years. I knew I was right. That's cool. Now I just have to find it and set up my own camp there. Oh, so you found a livable space and you left the government spot to go there. That is cool. Grace, you're my kind of chick. A di Ooh, a religious book. Is that Darwin? The Origins. In ancient times, there were Christian monks known as hermits. These monks believed they had to seek refuge in total isolation from society to get closer to God. 
That's why they build churches carved into stone. Interestingly, these structures are now the most useful for setting up a campsite. Because they're carved out of stone with underground passageways, they provide the perfect protection from solar radiation. It's no surprise that some refugees decided to live inside them after the Great Catastrophe. The Great Catastrophe. Okay. Solar radiation, Great Catastrophe. Look at this. We could be in the middle of the Amazon right now, but I'm guessing there was like a sun explosion or a flare that just heated up the planet, and now we're a desert everywhere. A 100 micro Tesla wave of radiation that would destroy our ozone layer, killing every living organism on the planet. That doesn't look entirely right, but look at this cup, look how he holds it. Pinky out, because he's classy like a champion. A lot of science drawings here. Some cool pictures. Okay, so this is magnetite. That's what I was hitting to get energy. It's amazing what can be done with a single rock. Tell me about it, Grace. If it weren't for this mineral, my little adventure wouldn't be possible. All other conventional fuels started to run out after the 93 incident, which is one of the reasons why nobody attempts to travel anymore. <laughs> they ignore all the resources hidden under their noses. But you just have to know how to make use of them. I guess the solar catastrophe created a Game Boy. I mean, it didn't create a Game Boy, but like a new source of power. What is this? Uh, Celestial? Oh, that's one of my favorite games. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's the developers. I can't actually play this, unfortunately. I got what you want. So you want me. Ooh, yeah, I do want you. Okay, I see a little guy in a cave. There's a big cross. He just went through a mirror. He went back to the mirror. There's a girl in the mirror. And I think they're making out. And the mirror broke. And the game's over. Okay, that's how I remember the Game Boy. Insert diskette. Okay, we got a cup on there. Loading. Ready to... Print. Oh, this is a printer. I thought it might have been a poke box at first. Okay, click. What's it printing? Is this like a 3D printer? It's gotta be. There was a cup on the disc. Is this gonna create a cup? Oh my god, yes! Can I dual wield cups? No. Yes! Oh my god, look at my fancy ass pinkies. Greatest day of my life. We have a camera, and I do believe this camera works. Let's take a picture of this poster here. Clickity. Here comes our picture. Wow, check out this place. <laughs> you sure did an amazing job, Grace. Yeah, you did. Okay, what do I look like? Can I smile? Oh my god. Oh, I thought that it kind of looked like a person, but nope, I'm invisible. That's great. Poor Joel. There's another door right here. Ah. The bedroom. Hey, hey, I like the plants you got here. Very comfy. Cool picture. I'm guessing this is some of my stuff. Yep, just, you know, packed up for the trip here. More pictures. What is that? Lead into the sublime. Is that someone jumping off a cliff? That's cool. Art demands. Interpretation, knowledge, and learning. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, time to strum a few tunes. No. No, I want to. I want to strum. Wait, is that us? Is that me and Grace? Oh, I have a good stubble. Best friends last forever. They do. What nobody tells you, though, is how people change. They also do Joel that. Joel hasn't been himself for a long time. Hey. I don't know if it's his job, his relationship with Elena, or something else. But he has that look in his eye, as if he was screaming out to escape. Do I? To make a big change. My eyes aren't even open. God, I wish he'd come with me. Well, I'm here now, Grace. <sighs> no matter how hard he tries to ignore it, he needs this more than I do. Do I? Do I, though? That's... Oh, shoot, there's something on the back. To the girl who feels most alive with all my love, Joel. I wonder if Grace is pissed off that I'm with Elena and that we have a baby on the way. I mean, that makes sense. Uh, hello? What's that noise? Here's the commode. Nice, we got a nice standing shower. That looks good, can we, no flusher. Sink on the toilet, a little bit gross. And a cactus, oh yeah. You're going on the shelf. You did, oh God, I'm so sorry. All right, let us rotate the solar sail. Crankity, go, what, what the, the handle just broke off? What the shit, find a replacement. Um, hello, replacements, nothing here opens. 
Danger high voltage. Was there anything in the drawers? Oh, hey, he's another disc. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, look. Okay. Boom. <laughs> I got you. I got you, Grace. Put him. All your supplies on floppy disks? That doesn't seem like it should work, but maybe it would work. Okay, print me a handle, I guess. Thank you. I like the music in this game a lot. Is this a... Oh my god, it's a VHS player. I gotta find a VHS. I want to play like the old classic Disney movies. You go right there and crank it. And there goes the solar sail. How cool is that? Hell yeah. And with, you know, the whole catastrophe on this planet, I'm probably getting a lot of solar power. So what am I doing? Oh, wait, where did this come from? To Joel number two, be more inquisitive into, oh shit, look at that. We got a bridge up here. All right, hold on, let me just pop this bad boy open. Take this out, number two. <clears throat> number two, go back up and play. There's something there. Wow, take a look at this place. I know, right? Oh, it's such a shame you can't see this, Joel. It's unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, I'm seeing the shit out this of it, Grace. This is one of the places mentioned in the documents I stole from the Citadel, remember? Wait, right here? Apparently it was used as a shelter by a small group of dissidents, but... Oh, right there. As the climate grew harsher, they were forced to leave it behind. Oh. It doesn't feel all that cozy to tell you the truth. There is something special about it, though. I, I can't put my finger on it. I'll put my finger Maybe on it. Because it seems so different and, and, and unique, unlike the Citadel. But the important thing is that there were people living here after the storm, Joel. We were right. I'd love to see the faces of everyone who laughed at us. Now I'm more and more convinced that I made the right decision. In any case, I gotta keep moving ahead to reach the Church of Twilight. It feels like I'm finally getting closer to my new home. It's a gas station. We are stopping. Are we stopping at the gas station? Are there monsters? Should I take the boomerang? Blow up the gas station! Okay. What are we doing here? We just chilling? This is cool. So this really is Earth, and we're just in the future after... Oh, it's going dark. Oh god, too much wine. Whoa. Oh, this is really neat. I can actually get out of my craft. The sun is setting. Oil OS. The operating system for your car. Broken down RV? Man, I bet this thing saw some really cool road trips. What is that, a map? Ah, we've got a map. Refugee settlement. Dome. High radiation. Okay, let's not go to the volcano where there's a ton of radiation. The Church of Twilight. That's where I'm going. Estimate seven different locations to find the church. It might take a month to explore. Oh, God, I don't have a month, Grace. I'm sorry. I'm here for like mm, two days, three days tops, and then I got to go back to my baby. Hello? Sir? I'd like to buy a Milky Way. Do we have any any snacks left? Oh, you got a bottle of something for me. Wash your car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Later. Oh, hello. That might be Nicolas Cage. Oh, yeah, that's a, that's a weird looking... But that's fine, I'll drink it. Mm. Nothing going on behind here. I don't feel any danger, but I am getting some sense of unease at how quiet and open this area is. Locate the objects. What objects? Oh! Oh, hey, I already found all these objects, and we have a camera set up. Do I... Do I take that? Okay, cool. Gas station. Okay, judging by the angle of this camera, there is no way you would get that picture. But I mean, you know, it's a cool picture nonetheless. Does this go in here? Does that go there? Hell yeah. Got the map. And then we just need the Nicolas Cage branded bottle of mermaid wine and we're set. In goes the bottle. In goes the map. There's a note there. Art demands. Oh, I was reading that earlier. Okay, that's cool. Do we go back to the ship now? Oh, yep, I think we do. Day 4, May 16th. I've been traveling for over a week and I still can't believe my eyes. It's hard to express what being here feels like in words. You could call it freedom, but, but there's more to it than that. 
awe, perhaps? Oh, goddamn. It's like gazing at something larger than yourself. Something beyond your scope of understanding. And to think people die inside the Citadel without knowing what they've missed. We have a right to know about our world. I dared to know, and now they want to keep me as an indentured servant. We deserve better than that. I'm going to prove it can be done. All right. I'm going to find my place. You do it. And I'm going to find you, Grace. Maybe I can share it someday. You're going to share it with me. I'm going to bring down my wife and my new baby, and we're going to create like a weird family. I'm just going to boomerang some rocks to avoid this awkward conversation. <laughs> Oh, that was an incredible shot. Perfect, crank that open. So that's all I have to do to get fuel? You know how much more fun it is to throw a boomerang at rocks than it is to pay like 50 bucks to fill up your car? And in you go, and close it. There we go. Things have changed here. There's new stuff like this, I don't know. I don't remember this being up there. The craft model, did I make this? It took four years to build this wreck. Damn. Tell you the truth, I never thought it was going to work. Well, it's working. But here it is, soaring over the vast terrain in this desolate wasteland. I'm sure Mom would be proud. On the other hand, she never would have let me go on this trip in a million years. Ugh, I still only have Celestial to play. Hey, is that me and Grace? Look at us. Ah, uh, we're fun. We're a great couple of kids. Notice. Notice of what? I've been working for the government for almost five years now. Ooh, that pension, though, huh? now they want huh? me to stay five more? No. I can't take this any longer. Yeah, job They suck. left me no other choice but to quit and leave. Because they want to promote you for five more years? The problem is, if anything happens out there, nobody will care enough to come and help me. I will. Well, I guess that's a risk I'll have to take. Not, oh, I thought you were going to say, well, Joel will, but apparently not. Anything new in the bedroom? Oh yeah, I made the bed! The picture's gone. Oh my god, is that a Tamagotchi? Hell yes it is. Oh god. I, my pet's dead. I forgot to clean out its poop. Oh, a compass. Neat. Does it actually work? Ahem. <clears throat> well, I'm gonna get lost. I feel like maybe I'm making this place my home. Was that there? I don't remember any of this, but I also have a terrible memory. <laughs> it's a bus. Burr, burr. Engine. Accelerate. Make sure our engine is nice and cool. What the shit? Wait, why'd you... What's that? What's going on? What is this? Control panel. Sleeping quarters. What's going on? What? What is... Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> Help. Help. What do I... What do I do? Uh, okay. I think there's... I found a key. I had found a key when I was... Good. What is... Is there something behind there? Is that like a hole? I feel like there's a secret behind here. I can't see. This. Yes. Okay, I found this key. I'm guessing this goes here. Yes. And open. Perfect. Okay, I need a screwdriver to get this going. There we go. Come on, come on. You got this. You're so good, Joel. You're so crafty. Uh, turn this off. Are we good? Am I good? That That is still just blinking red, so I am not good. What is this? Oh, God, it's a, it's a torch. Uh, he's really unhappy with the leak, but he's got his torch, so he's really creepy about it. And he's he's fixing it. Okay, there's a leak. There's a leak probably back here with the pipes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's torch that up. There we go. This is how all plumbing works. Done. Look at that. New metal, everything. Thanks, uh, John Fire? Did that? Did that solve my problems? Yeah, no, that's still kind of blinking red. Maybe that always just blinks red? Oh, it's red because I gotta cool this shit down. Won't I need to turn the water back on? I'm gonna need to take a shower, man. I, ooh, I really smell. Hey, it's not blinking red anymore. I did it. I'm incredible. Oh, damn. Joel number four. Wait, did we ever find number three? Did I just miss number three somewhere? Do I have to look for number three? I did a quick look and did not find number three. Maybe it's in here? Nope. All right. Number four. Did, nope. Go in. Okay. We're going to press the button and play. Have a little more wine. Never ending. Wow. Uh, this is oh, the 
last thing I expected to find out here. What? I think these places were once called observatories. That? Huh. Their purpose was to observe the stars and study them. Hence, observatory. Man, a fulfilling job, don't you think? Well, if they didn't I'd pay you much. In another era, I would have loved to have a profession like that. Yeah, that'd be cool. You have to ask yourself whether they could tell what was in store for them. Although, solar storms are very hard to predict. Yeah, that's true. It's shocking how we believe we are the center of the universe. But then nature can destroy us in the blink of an eye. Anyway, this place was probably used as a temporary shelter by the dissidents as well. I wonder if any of them are still alive. I don't know. Although what I really need is some time to myself. Maybe, maybe Grace is still here. Are you at the observatory, Grace? I'm coming with wine and we're going to drink and we're just, you know, pinkies out because we're fancy. We're just going to have ourselves a good time. Am I going here? Because this is bad. Do I need to get a chainsaw or like a flamethrower or something? Are we just going to stop? Are we going to go right through it? Oh, we are stopping. Okay, cool. I love how those clouds look. Are we, are we getting out here? Should I just drink a little more until I black out again? There we go. Whoa. And now it's nighttime. Holy shit, look at that moon. That's not good. The moon should never be that big. You know, the tides would just destroy life on Earth. Looks like I set up camp here. Can I get in? Uh, CES, okay. Uh, doot, 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 hello, please. Uh, Joel, you just have to move a few cinder blocks and then we could go and climb the observatory. Who knows what treasures are up there, but I guess I'll just... Chill here by the fire. Get nice and toasty. Does it hurt? Does it hurt? Hey, Joel. Joel, does that hurt? I mean, uh, you know, aside from the radiation and probably horrible mutants running about in the desert, I think I'd live here. We have another camera set up, and it looks like we're going to need some more objects. Okay, let's get a picture. See what that is. I mean, it looks like it would be taking a picture of a wall, right? Like, just a wall. But instead, it's everything. Wow. The zoom back function of this camera must be just incredible. Okay, you go there. We have distilled the virtue of judgment to the degree of entelechy. We have lost our way. Yeah, not sure what that word was. Uh, I gotta find some Windex and a canteen. Can we go up the stairs? I wanna go in the observatory. I want to observe. Oh man, Joel. I know it's a little dangerous and rickety, but it'd be fun. Now, who was sleeping here? Oh, hell yeah. Give me that. No, come on. Give me the gold. I want that. Why is that tied up to a car battery? Were they torturing someone here? Ah, uh, here's the canteen. Eh, 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 eh. Okay, maybe this one is the canteen. Yeah, yeah. I didn't want that shitty canteen anyway. This one has whiskey. And then we have our Windex. Or what does that say? Mix in 26. I mean, the game won't blow you away with the graphics, but damn, it's pretty. Is that a dog bull? I think it's a dog bull. Oh my god, the dog survived the catastrophe and Grace, she's probably just looking for the temple so she can find all the dogs. Yeah, that's going to be the ending in my book. Do I just spend the night? Because this is a cool spot. Oh, we're leaving. Day 12, May 24th. Well, here we are. Another day out on the road. I haven't made any recordings for a while, but there have been a few um, small problems. What do you mean? The environment has grown a bit um, hostile. No, oh, I don't like that. that what do you mean? That no surprise, though. Oh. I knew what I was getting myself into. What the shit? But it isn't all bad news. I think I've discovered the best mix for fertilizing the soil, uh, which... <laughs> watch out. Honestly, I thought I'd never figure out. Oh, God. I guess the good part about being alone in the middle of nowhere is that I have plenty of time to think. I remember how we would dream about all this as kids. We dreamt about this? You would always say you wanted to devote your life to taking photos of the big wide world. And that may be more dangerous now, I, I won't deny it, but... But it's never too late, Joel. And what's up? Plug that shit back in. I'll take you out in a second, Battery. I want to go check out what's new in here since it seems to change 
every time I come back, however many days later. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I brought the... Jesus! What did... Oh, my God, I'm in the door. Something's happening. Did... What? Are you okay? What's going on? Hydroponic system failure. Uh, restart. Ch check. Okay, I'll just let that reset. Can you not beep at me like that? So what is new? We have the nutrients. The soil around here is a real mess. There's no way to get anything to grow, and this heat certainly isn't helping. Yeah. Uh, I've been working Shit. on some nutrients that might speed up the growth process. But despite all that, I'm trusting the cave where the church is built will be humid enough for them to work properly. That's a big guess, Grace. Otherwise, I'll be stuck on my gross seaweed diet. Ew, seaweed. Actually, you know what? Seaweed salad? Oh, is like the shit. I love that. Uh, okay, so rebooting the hydroponics failed. It printed a key for... Wait, how is the ship moving? There's no battery. I'm going to bring in the battery because, <laughs> I mean, that's a little bit suspect. In goes the battery. Sealed up. Okay, we've got power. We are moving. Everything looks good. I guess I should go grab the key. All right, got it. Now I'm guessing the hydroponics is like plant stuff. Take care, 15 days. We got some stuff here. Lovely plants. Is this what I'm eating? Is this just seaweed? I mean, that can't be great for you. Is this where the key goes? There we go. All right, I need to reset this. What the shit is this? Ah, uh, there's a yellow key. Select base, choose combo, press play. Nitrogen base, N. Combine oxygen and carbon. I don't know what these symbols mean, Grace. K? Okay. Yeah, you do this one. There it goes. Okay, that was wrong. Uh, okay, so we have to figure out whatever that is. There's also a yellow key. Where does the yellow key go? Is there a yellow key? Do we have a new game? Ah, no, we don't. Terrain sample? Tell me about it, Grace, while I try to find the yellow key. I was somewhat hopeful the climate would improve as I traveled along. But surprise, surprise. Seems to be doing just the opposite. Yeah, it's, it's grown shitty out there. Increasingly bleak. I don't know what lies further ahead. But I hope the hovercraft is sturdy enough to withstand it. I think it is. Okay, we have the elements here. Great, what do I need this for then? What does the yellow... Wait, aha. Uh -huh. Yellow... Are you yellow key? Ah. Okay. Looks like we have buttons and a screwdriver. I don't know what I need that for, but I'm going to check out this canteen. Talk to me, Grace. What you got? I found this canteen at the gas station. Unlike everything else, it doesn't seem to be in very bad shape. Nice. I wonder who it belongs to. I thought the refugees would have left this area behind a long time ago. I may not be the only person out here after all, which could spell good or bad news. Wait, not the only person? Depending on how you look at it. Hello? Since there is no way I'm going to remember this, what if I take a picture? Will it come with me and then I can just... I have to find out what happened to the refugees. It, okay, Something's not the time. Something's they are involved in your disappearance. Wait, the refugees took Grace? Okay, that's good. I can read that. Perfect. That is going to help a ton. Thank you, camera. Oh, he's a baby. So N is oxygen and carbon. That one. This one. Okay. And carbon. Carbon is like the weird flower. This one. Okay, so click that. Click play. Sorry, click that. Click play. There it goes. What the shit? I think something... I think this was supposed to break, and that's why I had the other key to, like, get a new one. I'm guessing, but you know what? Worked out for me. Okay, K is oxygen and chlorine, so we know oxygen. And chlorine is at the bottom. This one, the weird egg. Play. Nailed it. And then we have P, calcium and iron. Calcium is the missing no. And then iron is down at the swirl. Perfect. Play. Got it. Oh, shit. Wait. All that for... Hmm. Put in and play. What you got for me, Grace? <sighs> Lately, I always feel exhausted. I'm sorry. I, uh... haven't been sleeping too well. You might say. You need my cuddles, right? But last night was, um... Especially weird. Was it? I had 
a dream. Ooh, was it the a two good of us dream? Were at my house drinking together. Ooh, yeah. So far, so good, right? So but good, Grace. Suddenly, you vanished. Wait, I vanished. I, I, I couldn't stop calling out your name, and and then I woke up. Oh, I'm sorry. I felt a strange pain in the pit of my stomach, so I went to the bathroom and I. I thought I heard something banging outside the hovercraft. Oh, a God. Scraping noise on the hull. Wait, what? what? I know I must sound paranoid. This landscape is just too extreme. Nothing could be living out here. Shit. But for the first time in a long while, I was scared. Oh, God. Is there something out there? Anyway. Grace? Now is not the time to panic. Now is the time to panic. I've come a very long way, and there's no turning back. What the hell was that? Oh my god. Oh no. Uh, uh, all systems seem to be running properly. Okay. Apparently the hovercraft's magnetic field was disrupted. Wait, what? Oh god, I have to find some way to fix it. Oh no. What happened? Grace? Are you okay? Are there monsters? Oh god, I'm gonna fight. I'm gonna fight the monsters. Oh my god, what was that? I'm gonna die. There's something out there. There's something out there. 